This video introduces how to add different types of card slot to the OLT FD1700, using two methods. The first method is installing the card via the OLT web interface. In the slot management configuration, you can see that slot 0 is the main control card. The remaining two slots are for PON cards, one connected card is a 16-port G PON card, the other is an 8-port XGS PON card. The global setting is set to auto installation mode, enabled by default. Next, we will demonstrate how to add a card. Currently, both cards are connected, so we will first uninstall one. Now this card is uninstalled and in its initial state, without a registered type. Click on Install, and the first step is to select the model of the board. The FD1700 currently supports four types of model. Now, let's demonstrate what happens if the selected one does not match the installed model. As you can see, it will prompt a conflict status, and the card will not operate. At this point, select Uninstall. Restart the installation, selecting the correct model. The system will automatically start the installation process. Once completed, the correct card model will be displayed. Refresh the page, and you can see the successful installation. The corresponding card can be seen on the overview. Next, we will perform the installation via the command line. The command line also shows the current status of the OLT. First, log into the system and enter enable. Then enter config. We first check the current status of the cards, where we can also add or remove all cards. We can see that the main control card is online, and the two pawn cards are also online. We will uninstall pawn card too, you can see the uninstallation is complete. Next, we will add a card by selecting the card model. The addition is now successful. Then we check the overall status of the OLT, similar to the web interface, entering the recognition and authentication state. Let's refresh again, you can see it has been successfully recognized but is offline. After a moment, when the card is successfully installed, the system will automatically prompt. The overall status of the OLT is visible, and the installation is now successful. This covers the steps to add cards to the OLT FD1700.